We're learning more about the will left by billionaire Barry Sherman before he and his wife were found dead in their home in 2017. The Toronto Star is reporting Barry left all of his net income to his wife, Honey, and that he changed some of the details of his will nine months before he died. Kevin Donovan has been following the couple's murder investigation for more than three years and is releasing new details in a three-part investigative series this week, and we're fortunate enough that he joins us now. Kevin, thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Ben. Well, the original copies of Barry's will are sealed by a court order. So how have you managed to piece together all the information and what did you find? Well, I think uh, having uh, worked on this story for the Toronto Star and done a book, uh, I've probably interviewed more than 250, 260 people by now. So I have a lot of sources. And my sources are people who have seen the will, who have knowledge of it, uh, and also of Barry's wishes. And, and what what Barry set out was something different than I had originally thought. I thought he had been quite uh, stingy towards uh, uh, Honey in his will, uh, perhaps for business reasons. But in fact, he had left uh, wishes that she would get the uh, entire net in income of his multi-billion dollar estate. Wow. Uh, well, as, as someone who has been following this investigation closely for years, probably as closely as anybody, uh, what was most surprising for you? What, what did you find out and why? Well, the other thing that uh, that he did, and this happened nine months before uh, the murders, uh, he had eight trustees who were sort of, uh, think of that as an executor, but eight executors or eight executive trustees on his will. And he downsized to four. He uh, removed his three daughters uh, who had been trustees on the will, uh, and he kept his son, Jonathan. Uh, he also removed uh, a couple of people who were uh, probably of his age, uh, 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 brothers-in-law, and, uh, and, and added one additional person, a man named Alex Glassenberg, who is a longtime uh, financier who has been running his family business for quite some time. So there were some changes. There's also been a suggestion by a family member that there's something wrong with his uh, signature. Uh, I've checked that out. I've talked to the lawyers that did it and uh, taken them at face value. Uh, it's Barry's signature on that document. Well, these revelations are the first in a three-part series uh, that you'll be releasing. So tell us a little bit about the other angles that you're looking at. Yeah, on Thursday and Saturday in the Toronto Star, we're going to have what I'll describe as sort of a uh, uh, a, a deep look into the succession battles of, of the Sherman family. Uh, the sisters, three sisters, one son, are uh, uh, inheriting the uh, the vast fortune that Barry and Honey left behind. Uh, but there's a, a big battle going on. Uh, one of the sisters uh, has joined with the other two, uh, and uh, they do not agree with everything that uh, the son is doing. Uh, there's also other people in the orbit of the Shermans who are trying to uh, uh, state uh, their claim. And uh, so I think it's a pretty interesting look, not only at these succession battles, uh, but also uh, really at who the Sherman family is. This is one of the wealthiest families in, in Canada, uh, their charity powerhouse. Uh, and uh, I think it will really shed some light on, uh, on who they are and, uh, and perhaps where they're going next. Kevin, this murder investigation is now in its fourth year. That's a long time for any investigation to go on. Are you still hopeful that justice will be served? Or, or do you think that at some point the, the cops are just going to push this to the side and, and recognize that there's really a diminishing chance for a resolution in this case? Well, the, the police say that uh, they are working hard on this. It's become very much a, an electronic case where they're looking at uh, uh, certain people where they were at a certain time uh, trying to prove a case. Uh, you asked me this question on your show about a year and a half ago, and I said, uh, I think I probably said I thought an arrest was around the corner. I no longer believe that. Uh, the police say they were... Uh, you know, they're, they're not interviewing people right now, uh, but they are continuing to do search warrants and production orders, and, and they say they're on the track. They say that the estate of Barry and Honey Sherman is, is a big part of their case. They say they have a theory of it. What that theory is, they're not uh, sharing yet. Kevin Donovan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me on, Ben. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.